In 1976, a captured Soviet jet arrived under fog and silence, a secret too heavy for words. When the crate opened, the first glimpse of the MiG-25's heart stole the breath of every man inside. They expected machinery, but what they found looked more like something born, not built. Every inch of the MiG's engine felt like a riddle, one that no American blueprint could solve. They had never seen metal like this, light as air, yet stronger than anything they could forge. Those burn marks told a story of heat, power, and a machine that had outrun fear itself. They compared every measurement, every curve, and still the MiG secrets refused to fit their logic. The math did not lie. This engine could push a jet faster than anything America had ever built. When the engine stirred, even at low power, it sounded less like a machine and more like thunder caged in steel. In that moment, they felt it, Tracy, the raw force that had once left American pilots helpless in the skies. When the noise died, no one spoke, because they all knew they had just witnessed something beyond their reach. Mach 3.2, a speed so unreal, it felt closer to legend than engineering. On film, the MiG looked like a phantom, vanishing faster than radar could follow. Even its smallest details carried a kind of beauty dye, the perfection born only from obsession. Line by line, they saw the truth, the Turin. The MiG's power left every American jet a step behind. No textbook, no design, could explain how the Soviets built something so far ahead of its time. They worked through the night, chasing answers that seemed to fade the closer they looked. Staring into the machine, they felt both proud and powerless. Proud to study it, powerless to match it. By dawn, they realized every piece was a masterpiece, built not just for speed, but for survival. When the reading spiked, they saw numbers their own engines had never dared to reach. The MiG's engine danced on the edge of destruction, uh, yet somehow it never broke. Every sketch revealed brilliance, solutions no one in the West had even imagined. It was more than engineering. It was discipline, precision, and a nation's will forged into metal. They captured each detail carefully, knowing this moment might never come again. That single number told them everything. The MiG's power was not luck, it was mastery. Even as they left, the engine seemed alive, waiting for someone brave enough to understand it. Every mark on that metal carried a story of the fleet, of the hands that built it, and the sky it once ruled. As it rose into the air, every man in that hangar felt the weight of something greater than themselves. Piece by piece, they rebuilt the legend in Pasini, not to own it, but to learn from it. Each sound, each note, captured the heartbeat of a machine that had once terrified the skies. Long after the others left, he stayed because something about that engine refused to let go. Even in silence, the machine seemed to whisper, daring them to chase its secrets. A new day began, but the same question remained. Agrilvi, how did they make it fly that fast? Even their tools told a story. Precision shaped by necessity, not luxury. Titanium, the secret metal. Light as aluminum, strong as steel, and decades ahead of its time. Its genius was brutal simplicity, built to outrun, not outlast. They had come to study a weapon, but found a masterpiece instead. Every test brought them closer than they 
But every answer raised a harder question. When it finally came alive, the ground itself seemed to tremble in respect. The findings were buried deep, hidden from headlines, locked behind steel and silence. What they read that night changed how America saw the skies forever. From that night forward, a silent race began to catch what once seemed untouchable. They did not cop it. They evolved because of it. The MiG had pushed them, forced them to dream faster, fly higher, and build stronger. What was once a weapon of fear became a monument of human ambition. He had seen it all. The fear, the race, the respect earned in silence. In the end, it was not about who built faster jets, but who dared to keep learning. Time moved on, but its roar still echoed Calais in every jet that followed. What began as a captured secret became the fire that reshaped the future of flight.